Good morning. I'm one of those guys that doesn't dream very much, or at least I don't remember the dreams, until last week. And I had a dream that I woke up and I remembered very vividly. Actually, I was just coming out of a dream. You know, it's kind of a half asleep and half awake. And there was a song playing in my head and I can remember it vividly. It's one we all know, I think. You know, when you wish upon a star, it makes no difference who you are. Anything your heart desires will come to you if your heart is in your dream. Walt Disney, yeah, that's right. That was a Pinocchio movie he did in 1940. And I listened to that thing and my mind at that time in the dream was asking the question, who's the star? You know, you, if you wish upon the star, what's the star? Who's the star? You're not wishing to some thing up in the sky. And a uh, voice says, why don't you look up who the star is? <laughs> well, that got me into a little bit of stuff and looking through all kinds of books. And all of a sudden, I look in the Bible, in Revelation chapter 22. And it's the revelation of Jesus Christ. And he's saying, I, Jesus, the root and the descendant of David, I am the bright morning star. The star is Jesus. So is Walt Disney inspired to do his movie about Pinocchio from the, from the Bible? Well, it's interesting because Pinocchio was a dead piece of wood until the angel came and brought the, brought the puppet to life just because of a wish that the man had because he loved the, loved the little puppet he made. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything to be said about the fact that, that we've come to life. We were just dirt. <laughs> until the breath of God came into us and we were alive. Then you look at some of the other animated movies that he made. One he made a few years earlier than that, the first one he made, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. He took it from an old Snow White, there was a whole series of these, but he did it a little differently. You know, here was Snow White meeting the prince, walking in a garden, a beautiful garden. And then along came the bad, wicked witch <laughs> and gave the apple to the woman and she ate the apple, and she died. Well, almost died anyway. She went into great deep sleep until along came the prince, finding her, breathed into her with a kiss, and she came back to life again. I don't know about you, it just seemed so strange that I, now that I look back at this thing, here was God walked with man in the garden before the man fell into death through the eating of the apple, <laughs> the serpent, who is the witch, had given to the woman. I don't know about you, but it just sent shivers up my spine to realize that the inspiration, and keep looking, keep looking through Disney movies, those animations, those early ones that Walt Disney was involved in, he was inspired with his pictures and his animations by the gospel of Jesus Christ. What a marvelous thing to know. I, he, he never said it. It's not written anywhere that I know. He was a man inspired by God. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> for what it's worth, that's, that's just my little message for this week. Do it with you will. Have some fun with it. Investigate it yourself. I think it's fascinating. Anyway, thanks for listening to me this week. See you next week. Bye for now.